All right, so this, uh, this session's gonna be a great session speaking about adding value and enhancement to print through lamination. And uh, we're gonna start it off with our, our team in the, the North panel. We got uh, three talented guys that are gonna speak regarding specialty finishing with the lamination. Andy Hope, why don't you go ahead and uh, start us off with one of our top selling flagship products. Thank you, John. Can you hear me all right? Yes, we can. Very good. Perfect. So in this next session, we'll be going over the different products that we hold out to our customers and what values they bring to your customers. Um, so each one of you, if you're a Scandicore customer or um, one of our contacts, I'm sure you already have our product guide number nine. So as we go through the different products in our um, range, I'm go we're going to be letting each um, letting our customers know what page the product is on, so you can follow along with us. But the first product we'd like to talk about is our Soft Pro um, Soft Feel Film. So the Soft Pro Film. So I've been with the company for four years now and going back when I started four years ago, the soft pro film was a very small percentage of what we sold. The bulk of the film that we sold was gloss and matte finishes. And just over the last four years, we've seen a shift from gloss and matte films to specialty films like our soft pro and our scuff pro that Dexter will talk about later on. And our soft pro film has become one of our top sellers. And I think is why that is, is it's a film that sets you apart. So you as a, a, as a printer, it helps set you apart from the competition. So our, our soft pro film is on page 45 of our catalog. So our so soft pro film comes in a OPP base, which, which is a polypropylene base as well as a nylon. And we sell it in our standard adhesive and our ultra grip adhesive. So our ultra grip adhesive is our aggressive adhesive that's designed to stick to digital toner. And then we also sell um, this product in uh, many different widths as well as on one inch core and three inch core rolls. And our soft pro film is very unique to the market as it's a fully printable stampable laminate. So our, our soft pro laminate you can uh, we have our sleeking discussion tomorrow, which you will not want to miss. It's, it's our um, Sleek Pro workshop tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And that'll be showing how you can do sleeker foil on top of our Soft Pro laminate. So our Soft Pro laminate can not only be used to put on your, you know, your high-end marketing material, your business cards, your, your soft covers, but you can also use it um, to apply onto business cards and all that marketing material, then process it back through your printer, print on top of that soft pro laminate as it's fully printable, and then foil on top of that. So it opens up a lot of new doors and helps set you as a printer apart from your competition. So the soft pro film has definitely got a unique feel. It's, it's something it's, I know for myself, I have printed all of my business cards and put on soft pro laminate on my business cards. And you wouldn't believe the amount of customers I've had come to me and say, hey, you came into my shop a month ago and left a business card and it's been sitting on my desk and I've been feeling it every day. What is that you have on your business card? And it's, I have got lots of sales out of just simply putting soft pro film on my business cards. And it's a unique product that everyone wants to touch and feel. It's, a, it's got a very unique feeling and it also allows you to put other applications on top of it, which gives it that good contrast between a soft, dark, rich feel and you know a bright, shiny foil. And then we also um, have a, product out there that's our soft pro black. So it's a very similar feel, but it's a jet black. Um, so I have a sample here. Many of you have probably seen this sample in our foil swatch book. 
So if you have a customer coming in, it's, it's used a lot um, in the packing industry um, and in high, high quality marketing material where you'll have a customer that wants a black print with a shiny gold or silver or iridescent foil on top of that print. Well, by using black laminate, soft pro laminate film, it gives a much, much richer black. And if you're trying to do a solid image of black, it's very hard to get a nice, rich looking black that's got a nice consistent color running all the way through the sheet. So with the Black Soft Pro, it allow, allows you to have that nice, rich look. And then you apply the shiny foil on top of that. It gives it an awesome contrast and helps you set yourself apart from the competition. So I don't know, John, hopefully that helps explain soft pro a little more. I'm sure I missed a few things. No, that's, that's very good, Andy. And uh, I mean, when you referred to, you know, the different adhesive types, it's obviously very important. We've, we've just come off the uh, discussion on dry toners and, you know, it's important that we're using the right adhesive, you know, to, uh, to match those, uh, the, the correct prints and, um, as we had at the beginning, your wingmen, that's what the great team at Scandicore has. If you're looking at utilizing the soft pro lamination films, whether it's the traditional soft pro mat um, or the, the soft pro black that Andy was referring to, um, we can support you regarding your applications to ensure that you're using the, uh, the correct material for your, your application. But no, just as you said, it, it's been a exploding in the marketplace. Um, and it, it really is, it's, it's driving value to print um, in, in, uh, in a whole new way because of the tactile feel, the, uh, the attention grabber of when you have a flat mat in contrast with a, uh, a, a sleek pro product where that's a spot embellishment of some sort on top. So no, you covered it, covered it well. Um, and you, you as a printer may be wondering, you know, Hey, how do I how do I go about doing this? Well, most trade finishers uh, will all offer this this product. Largely, it will be our product as well. If you're having the service done, uh, but there's a lot of uh, smaller devices that we have that allows the printer to to uh, be able to do this process in house as well. Thank you very much for that, Andy. One. And uh, now we'll go into Dexter with the Scuff Pro product line. Definitely. Thanks, John. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Great. So, yeah, I want to tell you a bit about Scuff Pro. Um, it's almost as cool as Soft Pro that Andy was just talking about. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw it into the chat while we're talking here. Be more than happy to help you out. Um, so, on to Scuff Pro. So, what is Scuff Pro? So, it's a laminate film it's an opp same as soft pro it's a polypropylene and it's scratch resistant so you know in all your gloss and mats films there's a coating on top and you can scratch the film well this scuff scuff pro is scratch resistant so that's essentially what this film is um it's on page 44 of our scandicore product guide um but you might be wanting to know some practical applications of this product. So one of the you know, main usages of this Scuff Pro that we're seeing is book covers. So if you're wanting a durable book, it's a great option. For example, our Scanicore product guide, um, a lot of you guys, our customers probably have these. So this is a Scuff Pro film on this cover. So the reason we did that is we know these books are gonna be used a lot, they're gonna be passed around the office, and they're gonna be getting shipped to you. So they're gonna get moved around a lot and they could get scratched. So we went with this film. Um, as you can see, there's probably no scratches on your catalog and that's because we used this film. Um, some other applications for it is packaging. That's got really popular. And then one that's grown a lot recently um, I've seen a lot of my customers do it is menus. So restaurants are slowly opening up again right now and they need to sanitize their menus. They need to clean them and you can put a gloss film on that menu. But the problem is, is when they go to clean them, they get scratched. This film is perfect. So you still get your, you know, tactile feel on that menu, but it's a scratch resistant laminate. So that menu is going to last them a lot longer 
and they're going to be able to clean it. So that's kind of a market that we've seen grown a lot since this COVID-19 has started. Um, I guess kind of at the end of the day, why do you as a print shop want to use this film? Well, it adds a lot of value to your print. If you can go to your customers and sell them on how much better this is going to make their product, how much better that menu is going to be for them, and you can charge for this product, we found that the end user is more than happy to pay for the benefits of this Scuff Pro. Um, again, it comes in two different adhesives. So you can get it in just a normal adhesive if you're doing a large run and it's press prints, but you can also get an ultra grip, which is designed for digital prints. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the Scuff Pro film in a nutshell. But did I miss anything, John? No, that's really good, Dexter. So some of the, the uh, questions that we often get, you know, well, I'm currently using a matte product. Why is this matte product so much different? Okay, we have the name Scuff Pro, so it goes without saying really what the, the main characteristic of it. But if you take any, you know, a PET mat, the sheen level of a PET mat is uh, more what a lot would consider a luster. So the Scuff Pro mat is, you know, more a, a rich mat. And then we have the OPP mat, which is a top coated mat product, a traditional mat. The top coating as you were referring to packages that ship across the country, you know, books that are tightly packed and then they travel across the country. Well, they get that what's called burnishing where the, the materials pressed, you know, a book tight against each other in a very slight vibration with a traditional matte film, the burnishing is what actually rubs that coating off of the surface. And the very unique fact of the Scuff Pro is it is not a top coated matte product. It's, it's actually a 5H level hardness uh, material, the hardest surface you can do on lamination. And we've actually changed the molecule structure of the film. So it is not a top coat, meaning if you dig into the film, it's still that same matte coating in there. So there's a very big difference between a traditional OPP matte and the Scuff Pro matte. Um, from a durability standpoint and a feel standpoint. So the, uh, the Scuff Pro, we're seeing a lot of uptick in popularity of that um, in the markets that you were referring to, Dexter. And yeah, if anyone cool. has any questions regarding these films, you know, films we're talking about, just encourage you to throw it in the chat. Um, we've got people on, uh, on the platform that are monitoring these questions, so we'll try and get it answered for you. Just before we move on from specialty films, I think the main reason why we're seeing our specialty films increase is if you think about your job that you're printing. So say you're doing 24 out business cards. For every 13, 19 or 12, 18 sheet, you're getting 24 business cards out of that. And maybe prior to using specialty films, you're applying matte or gloss film on there. So you're already doing that process. And then you stop and look at it and say, okay, what if I add a specialty film to that? What if I put a scuff pro film on there? What if I put a soft pro film on there? All of a sudden you're upping the value of that business card by almost double and your price to um, switch from a standard gloss or matte PET laminate to a specialty soft pro or scuff pro film on a business card or maybe 500 business cards is very small and it helps it helps push your margins up by adding in specialty films do you agree john absolutely and i think that's you know what we're what we're seeing and you know what we just came from what bill was just speaking about you know um yes there's the me too's out there but you want to be able to build your brand and set yourself apart and i mean you you Go over at that uh, earlier conversation with the, you know, the business card, almost being able to shave with it. Well, people are, are taking a card now and that's, that's their brand. And, you know, reps when they're in the field, they want to present the, uh, the best portfolio of themselves or their own personal brand. And that's why we're seeing such an uptick in luxury films is uh, people want to be able to express themselves in a way that differentiates them from the other guy. So jump in here, but that's awesome. Um, 
you know, one thing that we see is if you're going to set yourself apart as a printer, it really comes down to consumer perception. So by being able to make an impact on somebody with a piece of print, sounds fanciful, if you will. But, uh, you know, the fact that we saw somebody earlier in the day actually take a business card and rub his cheek with it. Well, I've seen people take soft touch lamination, do the same. So it comes down to making an individual impact on the print consumer who's then going to turn around and say, check out my business card or hand it out with pride. Um, being able to drive business back to the printer. So high value print goes two ways in, 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 in my mind. Number one, yeah, you can charge more margins for it. But number two, just as John referred to, is you build a brand and create an impact with print consumers that's going to pay dividends in the, the world of referrals and repeat business. Absolutely. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, move on. Neil, what do you have for us on the yeah. films? So Deco Pro is the next um, laminate that we have I'd like to speak about. And they come in two different types of Deco Pro. It's the Deco Pro leather and the linen. So it's both an OPP based film as well. Um, they're 1.2 mil film, but they're really the ultimate laminate for the tactile feel and that, that feel that you get with a laminate print. Um, and something that we found a lot in high value prints like presentations or luxury packaging. It's a really interesting one because it's, it's not a, it doesn't come in a different type of adhesive. It's just the, it's a very, um, the one adhesive that we have is very good for both prints. And really it simulates the, the feel of the leather and the linen without having to do, you know, print on top of a hot foil stamp, a piece of leather or, you know, print on top of some vinyl where you can still get that feel with just a 1.2 mil laminate. Um, some of the stuff that we've seen it used in is obviously luxury packaging. Um, you can get that really cool leather feel from the laminate and then the, le the linen, we've seen it used on menus even um, in some restaurants that are obviously fairly high class you might say and it's just been it's an interesting market to see come alive um i don't know john's been selling this much longer than i have but maybe he could say a bit about how he's found his customers reacting to it yeah well <laughs> thanks for that neil it's it's always a uh, a product differentiator right um to to uh we're trying to help printers set themselves apart and um, some of those unique applications that you refer to, you know, where, where the leather is, is used, you know, you may have a client that's uh, trying to push um, some furniture and, uh, you know, leather materials, um, the, the, uh, what you're doing is attributing a printed piece that has a trigger in the mind, hey, here's a leather looking printed piece that directly correlates with the couch that's in the advertisement or the football game. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bringing, um, you know, some of the, the, uh, the products that you're trying to sell and creating that switch in their mind that, Hey, you know, here's the, the, the attributed product to it. Um, linen, very popular in the wedding space as well. Uh, wedding invites, um, you know, that, uh, that's where we see an uptick in the, the linen materials. Um, and they are a topside printed material. So they're not an embossed film. It's a topside printed material that has that whole finish um, actually printed on the, uh, the film surface itself. And both the leather and the linen would have what we'd consider an overall luster sheen to them. So not a gloss and not a matte, but a bit more of a luster look to both the leather, leather product and the, the linen. So it also, Go ahead, so it also brings out the color and it's a, it's a matte finish, isn't it? But it, it's a 1.2 mil and lets the color and the tonality really shine out even with the, the different embossed feels, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, one of the things that John brought up about these sort of triggers in the mind and it's, uh, it's not, not a joke at all. There's actually psychology behind it about how we relate things that we see and touch 
to experiences we've had in the past. So whether that's a pigskin football, I don't know if you're Canadians know anything about football, but um, whether it's, you know, that leather triggering that in our mind, not to get into psychology, but this is how printers can really um, make an impact with their printed pieces. People are calling up things that you, you might not even necessarily know, um, you know, what impact you're making with it, but see tremendous results from a printed piece. And when we drill into it, it's because, hey, we use the tactile finish on that. That includes soft pro as well. So people feeling it, touching it, it gets the senses engaged. And there's actually a lot of psychology behind it. Uh, they spent millions of dollars studying this in the packaging industry. And, you know, 10 years ago, it was kind of uh, off limits for traditional digital printers to, to use this kind of thing. They're using, you know, soft touch AQs and whatnot, um, old technology. But now we've been able to bring um, these textures, finishes, the luxury fill right down to a digital print that you can now create into any product imagine, imaginable from a, a, a invite, a RSVP card, um, somebody's name at a wedding with linen laminate on it. So it's really all these applications that creatives, designers and printers are using these films for that are making a psychological impact on the print consumer. So again, going back to high value print, it's really combining methods and these materials to create a huge impact. Go ahead, John. No, that's, that's very good. And it's um, the ability, and we'll, we'll get into this a little bit more tomorrow, but the way how we can utilize multiple different print enhancements to, uh, you may be using two of the same materials, uh, a foil and a soft pro, but just contrasting them one layer under and one layer over. Um, and often cases, traditional, we always thought is lamination as the last process. Uh, now with some of our materials, lamination film is actually the first process. Um, what Andy was speaking about earlier, our soft pro black, um, that is the first thing that goes down on a blank sheet of white paper. And then the print goes on top of that and then we can do spot enhancements, et cetera. Um, now that digitally we can print, you know, white toners and uh, different effects. So it's uh, lamination is now being utilized in ways that uh, you know, were never seen before within the industry. So it's, it's a lot of fun to see the energy and especially when you're involved with designers, um, sometimes get involved with them and, and really the creative side just opens up whole new ways of looking at things to enhance brands. But as, as you pointed out, Andy, the end of the day, um, you know, to, our, to our entire printer audience, you know, we're, we wanna drive your bottom line and build your brand at the same time in what better way than to uh, you know, utilize these films. And you know, previously we're only available in uh, machinery or capable in being able to be run on very high-end equipment. You know, now our, our, our entire equipment portfolio allows small shops to be able to run these specialty films. So I think just in closure, I um, just wanted to mention the, the GS Pro film as well. The GS Pro film, is that's our gluable stampable film found on page 28 of our product guide. And that material is really used, um, a, probably one of the most common applications would be a pocket folder where you have flaps that need glued or folded carton packaging where you have uh, you know, glue, glue spots or print needs to be put on or a foil stamping. Um, the GS Pro film is, is very common for all those applications. Um, and then we have our, our, uh, our metalized and specialty security films, which really get into, you know, more uh, unique one-off applications. But I think the, uh, really the whole segment of this, this session is really to make everyone realize what's available to enhancing the print beyond just a traditional gloss and matte. Um, there's so much more available. As Andy says, you know, your cost per piece on a business card it's very marginal um, of an increase. And sometimes it's less depending on what material was previously being used. If it was a thick gauge gloss PET film, now you can use a little bit thicker card because the printers can print on thicker materials and use the soft pro laminate film. And uh, you now have the similar look, similar uh, feeling thickness card, but now you've attracted the tactile uh, component and really just um, excited those senses, if you will. 
one other one that you want to touch on back real quick. It's something that we're developing um, rapidly in the current environment, but kind of just go over different applications for it. Yeah. So we, we're uh, getting ready to, to launch the back pro uh, product, which is a, uh, just in, in simple terms, has a copper infu infusion on the surface of it. And uh, what that material does is it breaks down any bacteria and prevents it from uh, you know, growing or reproducing. So obviously in the market that we're in right now with the, uh, with the COVID environment, it is a hot topic. So there's more to come on that. We, uh, we are uh, hopefully bringing that to market very soon. And that will be available in a few different thicknesses. Um, we also are going to be launching it in a pressure sensitive material. And that will be able to be used by the end user um, can actually pull off pieces of that and put it on common areas. So you take this conference table, um, we could put some of that material on, on our surface, which is a high touch point or a door handle or a front reception counter. Um, school desks where there's high touch points of uh, multiple users and it's going to prevent that uh, bacteria growth or uh, any contamination it will go ahead and kill that bacteria so that's a space that uh, we're hoping to do uh, more launching on very soon. Well, I think that's it for this panel John if you want to uh, we'll do a little transition and then we're going to launch into a, a session on short run laminating to give us uh, some ways to how we can apply these films. That sounds good. Awesome. <clears throat>